<laughs> I remember getting asked this on Twitter, like, is this even a debate? Can Christians play Dark Souls? We actually get a lot of pings from searches each month asking that question. And I've written about the game a few times on our website here. And I figured, why not condense those articles into one video for folks on YouTube? So the question is, can Christians play Dark Souls? Yes, Christians can play Dark Souls. But I think the better question is, should you play Dark Souls? But that's going to depend on a couple of things. But before I get into the video, I want to quickly remind you that I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the theologian every Friday morning from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come swing by and tell me what your favorite Dark Souls game is and if you have any tips because Demon Souls is kicking my teeth in right now. Now, I want to start with one of the most common complaints that I've heard about Dark Souls, which is that the overall depiction or visualization of dark themes like magic and demons and evil. Now, I understand why people would be turned off by these because without context, it looks pretty dark. However, within the context of the game, none of these things are really presented as good. If anything, they're shown to be evil and not glorified. Actually, in many cases, a lot of the bosses you fight are cautionary tales of dabbling with things like obsession, selfishness, lust, power. And plus, you're killing demons, so it's definitely a Christian game, right? Oh, it works for Doom, right? However, the way that the lore is discovered and learned through the games is kind of confusing. You see, you have to read through item descriptions and character interactions with NPCs to really piece a lot of these things together. But not only that, the general design of the enemies can be a bit nightmarish depending on what you're going up against. Although in comparison to Bloodborne, they're fairly tame. But if you're the kind of person who cannot watch horror movies because that stuff sticks with you for days or weeks or months, Dark Souls is probably not the game series for you. And the other thing I should bring up is that Dark Souls is really not for people who do not like difficult games. Now, I don't actually think Dark Souls is as difficult as a lot of people make it out to be. I have a lot of people online that think Dark Souls is the most impossible game to ever play. You'll actually hear people describe these games as if they are the hardest games ever made while completely ignoring all of the games that were in the NES library. At the same time, in order to really understand the combat and gameplay, you do need to spend some time experimenting and paying attention to different aspects of the game and how the enemies attack and when they're vulnerable to attacks and when you should defend and those kind of things. Now, a lot of that can be expedited by looking up walkthroughs and guides for the games that tell you all those things and more. But again, if you don't really like difficult games, you're probably not really going to be interested in this series. But let me know in the comments if there's any difficult games that you like playing or how you typically tend to enjoy your video games. Now, a redeeming quality of Dark Souls is that it has quite a few parallels to the Christian life, actually. Take this one, for example. The games teach perseverance despite seemingly impossible odds. Now, those who stick with the game and learn its mechanics come out stronger and rise above the obstacles that were placed before them. And that's why you tend to see so many speedruns of people beating the game without ever leveling up. And we as Christians know that the Christian life is all about persevering through our trials and coming out of the crucibles of those trials stronger than before. And with Dark Souls, the online community of the series is also something to talk about. You see, in the games, players can leave notes on the ground, and these notes typically have warnings of enemies ahead, treasures nearby, or the occasional roll off this bridge or ledge. By the way, you should always roll off the bridge or ledges in this game. Or you can also bring other players in to help you defeat a boss that has just been destroying you for however many hours you've been trying to work on it. Or in some instances, you can face off against another player who's invaded your game and take them down to get some extra loot or experience. Kind of brings a whole new meaning to Iron Sharpens Iron. Now, despite all that being said, this ultimately goes back to Romans 13, that if your conscience is really bothered while playing the game, the very least you should stop playing so you can pray through it. Now, just because your friends or even myself are talking about these games and how we enjoy them and what we like about them, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to play them either. I mean, for example, I have friends who enjoy the Darksiders series and I personally don't really play them 
for a few different reasons, which we can talk about in the comments below if you'd like to discuss that. But while you certainly can play Dark Souls as a Christian, that doesn't necessarily mean that you should or have to. You definitely don't need to play it to remain a Christian. But those are my thoughts, and let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Tell me what you think of the Dark Souls series, your experience with them, and any other thoughts that you may have. And if you like this video, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and be a deer, keep it locked here. I'll see you in the next video.